I'm fine, I'm fine. Greetings, mortals. It is I, the one and only, the greatest, the most powerful, the most admired non-narcissistic superhero, here to bestow upon you my infinite wisdom about the benefits of creating a faceless YouTube channel. You know, speaking of faceless channels, I really don't like to show my face. In fact, I just got back from my therapy session. My doctor said that my narcissistic tendencies cause me to misread social interactions. I'm pretty sure she was hitting on me. Cuz, <laughs> I'm not narcissistic. I am way better than that. You see, being a superhero, I know a thing or two about the importance of anonymity. Sometimes, we want to protect our secret identities. And that's where the magic of the faceless YouTube channel comes in. Hmm. Lois is home, and she's got somebody with her. <sighs> Looks like Wolverine. Hmm. Welcome to the Mindstorm channel. Thanks for stopping by. It's a great place to get great ideas from a great, great superhero. So you've picked a great day to visit. Today, I'm going to show you how Mark Sylvester, the guy that creates all of us characters, how he creates us, how he animates us, and all the tools he uses to put everything together. Firstly, and most importantly, creating a faceless YouTube channel allows you to focus on the content. You don't have to worry about your appearance, your facial expressions, or any other physical characteristics. Some great examples of faceless YouTube videos are like top 10 videos. For example, here's a YouTube channel called Practical Wisdom. The 40 hmm. under 40 most successful people on Forbes did to get there? Perhaps they might have found a shortcut to success that they aren't telling the rest of us. Looking at their stats, it appears they're making anywhere from $300 to around $5,000 a month. Here's a great site called Vacuum Wars. They review vacuums. Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Tinko Carpet One Pro Carpet Cleaner as well as the entire new Tinko Carpet Cleaner line. Looks like their stats say they're making up to three or 4,000 a month. So the point is, there are a lot of ways to create faceless videos. Now, the trick is standing out from the crowd. What if you could have a spokesperson, like me talking about your videos or introducing clips between your top five segments? In fact, one of Mark's first videos on this channel did just that. My fine fellow binge watchers concludes my video on the 10 strange and coolio facts about Netflix. I mean, he should have used me, but the video did great. Wolverine keeps asking me, how many narcissists does it take to screw in a light bulb? I just stare at him. Then he says, one. Because he just holds the light bulb and the rest of the world revolves around him. That Harry Potter looking Sasquatch thinks that's funny. The trick in creating a successful faceless channel is when it's entertaining and provides value. And to do that, we can use AI to help us. Let me show you how Mark puts everything together. The first thing we're going to do is visit one of the AI imaging sites. There are lots of them out there. There's a new site on the block called Leonardo that's looking super promising. Another amazing tool is Blue Willow. Both of these services are free as of this video. But for me, I wanted to find the best image generator, the best like me. And that's why I keep using the best AI tool called Mid Journey. It simply has the greatest quality and the images always look, well, stunning. Hmm. Is that Captain America going into Lois's house? And Bruce Banner? I've created literally hundreds of characters in mid-journey to help break up the segments of the videos. Cause by having an animated character speak between clips, you're introducing an element of entertainment that's fun to watch and keeps your viewers happy. And the key to creating characters that look good is when you learn to use the prompts. I've created a super prompt that allows me to create excellent full body characters every time. Creating quirky cartoon characters can be a time consuming and challenging process, but it doesn't have to be. If you're looking to save time and still have high quality characters for your projects, I've put together a package of 50 done for you characters that you can download right now. The characters are full body poses and come in different styles. I've also created each character on a transparent background. And on a green screen background, making it easy to take out the background when you use the DID Studio software I'm about to show you. Here's a sample inside a video editing program. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you like Luke Skywalker, may the force be with you. If you're interested in checking it out, 
The package is available for purchase in the description below. I've included into the package the magic super prompt that'll let you create your own characters, thousands of characters if you want. But of course, it's all totally optional. I just wanted to let you know it's available in case it could be helpful for you. Okay, so after we've created our character, we're going to visit my favorite AI tool that'll help animate the image. It's a site called DID.com. Once you log into DID Studio, you'll head over to this area to create your video. Just click the Create button, then click this little Add button here. Then, navigate to the image you want to animate. If you created one in mid-journey, or maybe even if you imported an image of yourself. You can also use the characters in the Mindstorm character pack. All of the characters will work perfectly in the DID Studio. If you create your own characters, it's important to create them with semi-flat expressions. It's so the AI can understand where to make the eyes blink and the lips move. Mark has tested dozens and dozens of characters in the DID Studio software. And sometimes, crazy characters get rejected. Or sometimes the mouths didn't work right. EM Colt. EM Alvice Colt. So that's why he created these guys. They all work and you don't have to waste credits experimenting. Hello. There, I, me, wanted to thank you for watching me talk. Thank you for helping me come to life. Just checking to see if the animation looks cool. You can carry on with your day. So, now that you've got your character, it's time to add the voice. DID Studio has lots of fantastic voices. They're great and they sound real. Hello. And you can create voices with different languages and different expressions. Hello. This is me talking with my voice. I have a great, great voice. Okay, now, I'm going to admit uh, that I am not using the voices from DID. I'm actually using a voice from a site called 11labs.io. 11labs for me is the best site for AI voices. They have such great inflections. Technology is destructive only in the hands of people who do not realize that they are one and the same process as the universe. Give a listen to some of them. The more you play with these little sliders, the funnier and crazier the voices get. When people see Superman flying, they always ask, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Why can't they recognize him? Because he's in disguise. The other mind-blowing thing about Eleven Labs is that you can digitize other people's voices or your own voice or like Wolverine's if you want. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you like Luke Skywalker, may the force be with you. Okay, so once you've gotten a good voice that'll fit one of the characters, jump back over to DID Studio. Then import your character from this add button. Then import the voice you've just created. Roses are red, violets are blue, if... And you've got the animation! Roses are red, violets are blue, if you like Luke Skywalker. May the Force be with you. Awesome! Now the final piece of the puzzle is to download the animation and then import it into your video editing program. A lot of video editing programs now have a feature called Chroma Key. It'll remove a green background. Roses are red, violets are blue, if you like Luke Skywalker. May the Force be with you. As my friend Peter Parker would say, holy moly, with great power comes up great animations. If you want to cut out the backgrounds to your own characters before you create the animation, you can use a site called cutout.pro. You can just drag and drop a character over the web page and it'll remove the background for you. Oh my landies. Well, I hope this little mini tutorial gives you some great ideas. I know you'll have fun creating this stuff. Make sure to check out the character pack in the description below. It'll save you a super amount of time and DID credits. What the? Now who is that going into Lois's house? It's the Flash! Oh, now he's leaving.